Hey, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. I'm getting ready to review a film, but this film is about a character that I first got introduced to when I was a young kid in grammar school. Now, how did I get to know about this character? Well, I went over to a friend's house. Yeah, he was the only child, so he, he didn't have a lot of friends, but I went over to his house. He pulled out this racing set. And the racing set, you know, the lights came on in the cars and went around, had an ejector seat, and a couple other things in the car. I said, hey, man, what's this? Who is this? He says, James Bond's car. I said, James Bond? Who's James Bond? He said, he's a secret agent. Secret agent? What's secret agent? You mean a spy? He said, yeah. Well, how'd you learn about James Bond? Well, they got the movies out now. Movies? A spy? A British spy? So I played with this racing set for a few times, but then I started reading a newspaper about James Bond, you know, about the movies. I didn't go see them yet because I didn't know anything about it. Nor did I know anything about the books, too, or Ian Fleming. But I finally got to see my first James Bond film. You know what it was, right? Can you guess what it was? Thunderball. That's absolutely right. My first James Bond movie that I saw in the movie theater. I remember the movie theater I went to in Chicago. It was the Tivoli on 63rd Street in Cottage Grove. I remember taking a bus to go see this by myself at my very, very young age. And the movie theater was crowded. I couldn't believe it. Oh, man, all these black people watching this secret agent. Man, ever since then, I haven't missed the James Bond film. Read a lot about him, Annie and Fleming, and also saw the films before that. In fact, I own every James Bond movie. That character really sets me off. If I'm feeling a little down, I'll watch a James Bond movie. I know that the world is better after I watch the movie. Well, I'm going to talk about his latest film, Spectre. That's right. This is the newest James Bond film. And again, it's directed by Sam Mendez. The screenplay or the writers, John Logan, Neil Purvis, Robert Weed, and Just Butterworth. And I took all these people to write this film, Spectre. Again, you know, Spectre is like a homage, or it's going back to some old James Bond, you know, stories. And this Daniel Craig. I feel he is the best James Bond for this generation. And they're writing stories to reflect his acting and his physique and his uh, physical ability to perform, you know, the action scenes in the James Bond's movie. Also, and this is Christoph Waltz, Leah Sidok, Ralph Fiennes, I really enjoy him as him, Monica Bellalucci. Ben Whishaw as Q. I love this new Q. Naomi Harris as Money Penny. Oh, yeah. She wouldn't have to ask me twice. Oh, this little Dave Bautista, Andrew Scott, Rory Kinnear, and Alessandro Camino, and Stephanie Sigmund. Like I said, this story. James Bond character in the film's been around for 53 years. And that's what this film did. It went back to the past to make personal hints on the old films throughout this movie. Of course, you know, they show the first James Bond car, even though it got burned up. In the last film, they still show it. Now, here, of course, the first scene, action, great, here in Mexico City. But then Bond goes back to London. M tell him, don't do this again. You can't go out on your own. In fact, you kind of suspend it. Uh, you know, I'll let you know what's going to happen later. But then Bond finds out that a guy named C wants to wipe out the double O program and get rid of M and everybody else because he's building or it's already built a tower where well, they can get spy and get information on anyone in the world. Of course, you know what the Bond does, right? He's on a mission. 
that no one knows about but him. But he gets help from Q and Money Penny. Then they find out what he's on is really legit. And then M gets involved. You know, everybody gets on his side because he's right. But you know, about this film though, you really get to know a lot about Bond's real life. And this is the problem that I had. Do I really want to know about James Bond? Do I really want to make him a real human being? That, you know, family, we found that out before in Skyfall. But also other things that happened to him in the past when he was a kid and growing up and things like that. Do I really want to know that about James Bond? Uh, not me, but they worked it in this film. Also in this too, you know, there was one woman, she drunkenly went to bed. She laid down Bond in her hotel room and she threatens Bond. She said, Bond, if you try to get in bed with me while I'm drunk, I'll kill you. Uh, you know, a few minutes later, not in this hotel room, but a few minutes later, of course, she done dropped the panties. James Bond, who can resist? Well, you know, James Bond takes you to Italy, Morocco, the Austrian Alps, London, Mexico City, does all that. And again, I still feel this is a throwback to the series of James Bond. It really is. A lot of hints. A lot of things from the past, from old James Bond movie. But is that what you really want? Now, the plot is very good. I will admit that. It is good. The action is good. And I'm telling you, Daniel Craig, when he dressed up, things like that. Oh, man. I really enjoy that part, too. But did I enjoy the villain in this? Now, the super villain in this is Christoph Wolf, Waltz, and he's playing France over Hauser. And, you know, He's a leader that he's looking for, looking to kill. And he knew Bond way before he even became a secret agent. Yes, he knew him very well. The ending well, was a little murky for me. I, I think it should have been a little bit more dramatic than it was, but I'm not the writer. They should know what they're doing. But did this movie Spectre give me the suspense and also the enjoyment of James Bond. It gave me everything I wanted in James Bond. It sure did. But a couple of surprises in the end. I was totally entertained for two and a half hours. I didn't fall asleep. I didn't look at my watch. I did not get bored at all watching Spectre. Of course, Daniel Craig did it all for me. And the other actors in the film did Two. Did Sam Mendes make a great film? No, he made a good film. It's not as good as Skyfall, in my opinion, but it's in the, you know, it's not the worst one he that's been made and you know with Daniel Craig. But to me, it wasn't the best. But I got enjoyment out of it. I'm giving this three palm trees because I'm a sucker for James Bond and I was thoroughly entertained. Spectre, Three Palm Trees from Al McGee. Thank you for watching your entertainment ticket with me, Al McGee. Keep watching, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.